Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to look at combinations, which is a type of counting. Before we get to combinations, make sure that you're familiar with factorials and permutations. And you should be able to find those videos somewhere on the screen um, because they directly relate to combinations. Okay, so a combination. This is a selection of objects when order doesn't matter. So that's the big difference between a combination and a permutation. Order doesn't matter for com combinations. Order does matter for permutations. Examples of combinations include a selection to a committee, cards in a poker hand, or who you invite to your graduation party, and many, many other possibilities, right? It doesn't matter if you're selected to a committee, you're either selected or you're not. It doesn't matter if you were selected first, second, third, whatever. Cards in a poker hand doesn't matter if you're dealt it first, second, third, fourth, or fifth. You either have it in your hand or you don't. So you can see here, that's what it means when order doesn't matter. Um, and same with the graduation party. You're either invited to the graduation party, you made the cut, or you didn't. And those are just a few. So before we get into combinations, let's just compare the difference between permutations and combinations. So if we're given four roommates, we want to list the permutations and combinations if I'm selecting two of them. So permutations, you might recall the formula for permute two would be four factorial divided by four minus two factorial which would be four factorial over, this would be two factorial, so that's, oh, sorry, I don't wanna write four factorial. I want to say four times three times two factorial over two factorial. And so we would end up with 12 permutations. And we'll just list those out because that 12 is not that many. So for permutations, order does matter. So Rachel Eve is one potential ordering. Another permutation would be Rachel Alley, Rachel Carol. We could also have Eve chosen first, in which case we would have Eve Rachel. Eve, Allie, Eve, Carol, or Allie could be chosen first, Allie, Rachel, Allie, Eve, Allie, Carol, or Carol could be chosen first, Carol, I don't know why I went to Allie, Carol, Rachel, Carol, Eve, Carol, Allie. So here are the 12 different ways that we could permute two people from a group of four. For combinations here, order doesn't matter. So if Rachel and Eve are chosen, that's it, that's the only possibility with Rachel and Eve. We would not also put Eve and Rachel, that's the same combination. So we would say Rachel Eve, Rachel Allie, Rachel Carol, Eve Allie, Eve Carol, Allie Carol. And here for combinations, we would have six combinations. So we can see we have, in this particular example, we have twice as many permutations as we do combinations. And that's not always the case. Um, it just so happens that that's just the, the, the repetition is by two. Okay, so let's talk about the combination rule. Recall that the number of combinations from the roommate example was exactly half. This is because once two roommates are selected, there's only two ways to arrange them, Rachel, Eve, Eve, Rachel. So we would have to divide out that repetition of two. So the number of combinations of n objects chosen r at a time should be the number of permutations divided by the number of repeats. So this gives us the formula. We say n choose r, that's n choose r, and n choose r is n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. So there you see there's permutations, but then we need to divide out the repetition and the repetition is gonna be given by r factorial. So we have an extra factor or factors in the denominator. So this is read n choose r, and the formula is n factorial divided by n minus r factorial times r factorial, all in the denominator. With the permutations, I generally would just do them by making the list and, and dealing with it. With combinations, the formula, while it looks complicated, is going to be a lot easier than trying to divide out repetitions later on. So in general, when it comes to combinations, I do use the formula. Let's practice using the formula and we're gonna ignore these numbers. Okay, great. So eight choose four, you might recall eight permute four was eight times seven times six times five. Here, eight choose four would be eight factorial over eight minus four factorial times four factorial because this is N and this is R. So this would be eight factorial over four factorial times four factorial. What we're gonna do just like I do when I'm simplifying permutations, I'm gonna expand the eight factorial until I get to the bigger one of these, they're the same, so just till I get to a four factorial. So eight times seven times six times five times four factorial 
divided by four factorial. And then the other one, so one I'm gonna leave the factorial, whichever one matches up here. The other one I'm going to expand. So four factorial is four times three times two times one. Then I'm gonna simplify and it should turn out, all of these should be whole numbers. So this should cancel. So four and two are eight, right? Four times two is eight. So I'm gonna cross out the four and the two with the eight. And then three goes into six twice. So here I'm left with seven times two times five, which is 70. Very different than eight permute four, which was eight times seven times six times five. So eight choose four is 70. We wanna find 15 choose three. So plugging this into the formula, that's 15 factorial over 15 minus three factorial times three factorial. Um, this is 15 factorial over 12 factorial times three factorial. So again, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna expand 15 factorial until I get to 12 factorial. So 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 factorial. I'm gonna keep 12 factorial as is, but I'm gonna expand the other one, the three factorial into three times two times one. Those will cancel. And then three goes into 15 five times and two goes into 14 seven times. So we end up with seven times five times 13, which would give us 455. So 15 choose three is 455. Lastly, 47 choose five. This would be 47 factorial over 47 minus five factorial times five factorial. That's 47 factorial over 42 factorial times five factorial. I'm gonna expand 47 factorial until I get to 42. 45 times 43, Ooh, sorry 44. 44 times 43 times 42 factorial. I'm gonna leave 42 factorial. I definitely don't wanna expand that, but I will expand five factorial into five times four times three times two times one. So those will cancel. Five goes into 45 nine times. Four goes into 44 11 times. Three goes into nine three times. And two goes into 46 23 times. So I'm just gonna rewrite these. We have 47 times 23 times three times 11 times 43. Everything's gone down there in the denominator, great. So when I do that, 47 choose five or 47 times 23 times three times 11 times 43. Ooh, another big number, but not nearly as big as the permutations. We have one, five, three, three, nine, three, nine, or 1,533,939. Let's look at some examples of applying the combination formula. So as always, I encourage you to pause the video, try these for yourself and see how you do. Okay, in our first example, how many different ways can five cards be selected from a standard deck of 52 cards? So again, this is a combination because order doesn't matter. You have the card in your hand or you don't. So this we would represent with 52 choose five. And 52 choose five would be 52 factorial divided by 52 minus five factorial times five factorial, right? Because that's the combination formula. The combination formula is n choose r equals n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial. So then 52 minus five is 47. So that's 47 factorial. So we would have 52. I'm gonna expand this until I get to 47, 50, 49, 48, 47 factorial divided by, I'm gonna leave 47 factorial as is, but I'll expand five factorial, five times four times three times two times one. So those will cancel. And then I'm just gonna cancel the five with the 50 would be 10. Four and 48 would be 12. 3 and 12 would be 4, and 2 and 4 would be 2. I really picked on that 48, didn't I? Leaving us with 52 times 51 times 10 times 49 times 2, which when we multiply that through, gives us 2,598,960. So this means when you're playing five-card uh, five poker, that's how many different hands are possible. 2,598,960 possible hands. So that's why, you know, certain types of hands are worth so much because they're very unlikely. 
Okay, in the next example, if Lily can select three friends from 10 friends to take six flags, how many different combinations? So how many different ways can she choose three friends out of 10 friends? So this would be 10 choose three. Plugging into the formula, it would be 10 factorial over 10 minus three factorial times three factorial. 10 minus three is seven, so this would be seven factorial. So again, I'm gonna expand 10 factorial until I get to seven, and then I'm gonna leave it as seven factorial times seven factorial over seven factorial, and then I'm gonna expand the three to one. So the seven factorials cancel, three goes into nine three times, two goes into eight four times, 10 times three times four is 120. So there's 120 different ways that Lily could choose three friends out of a group of 10. Last one, in a factory, four out of every 10 Butterfingers are checked for quality assurance. How many ways can the 10, uh, can, can the Butterfingers be chosen? So this would be 100, out of 100, we're gonna choose four. Ooh, that's a job I wanna have. So that would be 100 factorial over 100 minus four factorial times four factorial. Uh, 100 minus four is 96. So I'm gonna expand 100 factorial to 100 times 99, times 98, times 97, times 96 factorial. And then we're gonna leave 96 factorial, but expand four times three times two times one. 96 factorials cancel. Four will cancel with 100, this would be 25. Three goes with 99, 33 and two goes with 98, and that would be 49. So then we'd be multiplying 25 times 33 times 49 times 97, which when we multiply that through, we get 3,921,225. That's a lot of different ways that we could check for quality assurance to, to, to choose four out of 100 Butterfingers. These have been examples of combinations. Thank you for stopping